So today we're starting out with video one of our four series video that's going to go over squatting. So all this starts with the fundamentals, which is going to be air squats, or as some of you know it, body weight squats. So we're going to go over the points of performance that we're looking for in squatting, and then we're going to demonstrate what the air squat looks like. So regardless, with any type of movement, as with any type of exercise, you always want to make sure that you have the proper warm up before you actually get into these exercises. Now, you're going to notice that I have a medicine ball here with me, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a depth indicator just to make sure that as I'm doing these squats, that I'm getting to the correct depth. So ideally, I want to get to 90 degrees with my knee or slightly below that, which is going to be that upper leg at least parallel, maybe a little bit below, parallel to the ground. So with that, let's get into air squats. So first thing we want to make sure is that we have the proper stance for this. So for most people, this is going to be with my feet about shoulder width apart. I want my toes to slightly canted outwards. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I want to start loading that backside. And to do that, I'm going to initiate this movement by pushing my hips back. And as I go deeper into this, you're going to start to feel those legs stretch a little bit more. So again, feet are hip width or short width apart. I load everything on that back side by starting to push down, pushing those hips back. You're going to notice that those hands come out in front, just to kind of counterbalance all that weight that's coming back. And another big thing on these is as I come down, I want to make sure that my knees are pushed outwards and then they maintain that outwards push throughout this movement. So, again, I come down, I push those hips back. I want to keep that chest nice and upright. Again, I'm using this as an indicator here, so once I come down and I touch that ball, I'm right below that parallel level, and then from here, pushing back up. So, big things we want to look for on this is make sure that my chest is up as much as I can as I go down. Last thing I want is to be facing down towards that ground, be in this real awkward position, especially when it comes to putting any type of load on that. That's not a position that I want to be in. So chest is upright, make sure that those feet are in that proper stance. And then as you come down, and then again, as you come up, make sure that those knees are pushed outwards. So let's go over a few more here, and that'll be it for today. So again, Load those hips, I push those hips back, my knees are nice and wide, chest is up. Now if you have some type of mobility restriction in these to where you can't get below parallel with that upper leg, I can use something like a box here which can be a little bit higher and I can use that as my indicator and as my flexibility and mobility improves, what I can do is I can start to use lower and lower targets. So that's it for air squats. Next week, we're going to be going over 